Hello everybody, it's Zach here from realestatelicensewizard.com. Today we're going over another one of our real estate math practice questions. If you're new here, we post exam questions on this channel, either submitted by users or from our bank of questions every Monday through Friday. Of course, if you have any math questions you want me to cover, drop them down below. If you want to try these real estate math questions out yourself, as well as regular real estate exam questions, go ahead and check out our website, realestatelicensewizard.com. Now this series is amazing for anyone preparing for the real estate exam, so make sure to click that like button and subscribe that way you're fully prepared come exam day anyways let's jump right into it so today and this week we are doing 28 by 36 rule questions these are pretty straightforward so without further ado let's get started all right so the question states mason's gross income is ten thousand two hundred fifty dollars a month to qualify for most loans what is the maximum monthly house payment Mason can make using the 28 by 36 rule? And it's going to give us four options. A, $1,033. B, $2,870. C, $3,690. Or D, $10,250. So as always, and like usual, I'm going to give you guys an opportunity to pause here or going to give you guys some time to work out the problem, come up with your answer and all that good stuff. So go ahead and do that right now. All right, so hopefully you guys came up with your answer on this one. So what is the correct answer? Well, it's going to be B actually. It is $2,870. So according to the 28 by 36 rule, he would need to spend less than $2,870 in housing costs a month to qualify for most loans. In 28 by 36 problems, you multiply by 0.28 or 0.36. If it's a housing cost problem, then you multiply by 0.28, meaning in this problem, we need to multiply 0.28 to our gross income. So let's underline these numbers and how we got these things. So again, when we see this maximum monthly house payment, that's going to be considered housing costs. When we see here this gross income of $10,225, that's going to be our gross income. So those are the important snippets of information that, that you need to look for in these problems. So once you figure that out, as I mentioned before in the last video, you need to find those out first, then you can do the math. So the math is pretty straightforward. We're just going to take that $10,250, and then we are going to multiply that again by 0.28. So how did we get that 0.28 again? Remember, maximum monthly house payment or housing costs, that means it's going to be 0.28. So I'll go ahead and circle that right there and then get back to this. So when we're plugging this in, it's a pretty straightforward multiplication problem and we're gonna get $2,870. So yeah, that's pretty much it. So uh, with this one, again, a pretty simple question uh, as I've, mentioned for this one and then the last one that we just did you you should start to see a pattern with these problems um but obviously they are going to get a little more difficult and i'll show you that in the next couple of videos so hopefully you guys enjoyed something hopefully you learned hopefully you got the answer correct all that good stuff if you have any comments questions all the good stuff please leave them down below uh, i'm all about feedback here on our channel all right guys thanks so much for watching as always it's zach from realestatelicensewizard.com make today magical